actually um i've been receiving some questions from many of you ladies out there and um i've been planning to do this since last year but it was a tumultuous year for me and um, i wasn't able to do it so finally now i can and I would like to begin with the very first person to ask me a question and she is Finn Porta. Hi Finn Porta, I hope you are watching. The question is, I was on YouTube as we are and as a fellow transitioning sister. Would like to know how you feel is the right way to keep safe in public and at work if and when we get one. Okay. Um, I already sent you the answer to this uh, through email, but I would like to answer it again um, for our other sisters who might have the same question as you do. Um, with regards to my safety, um, of course we are all aware that there is a danger out there and it's a risk to be actually uh, transitioning. Um, and um, being uh, honest about it. Um, I think it all depends on the immediate environment that you are in. You must understand the community that you are working in. Um, I am, I guess, very lucky. One of the few who are lucky to, to transition in the job and still retain the job. From the very beginning, I think I was androgynous. Uh, that's one thing that helped, I suppose. So when I transitioned, little by little, um, I started out with um, first um, growing out my hair and then moving along step by step by doing this i think it slowly um, um, desensitized them and um, that's one thing i suppose that that helped another thing is the fact that i am not in my country i love my country very much don't get me wrong but um, education on this matter is still lacking in my own country. Since I am in China, um, also a very patriarchal society, um, man-headed society, um, I was very cautious and I, I was aware of this. And so when I transitioned, they um, dismissed it as a cultural quirk, you know. Um, it's very easy for them to think, oh, it might be part of their culture. So I got away with it. What else? Um, I know the limits. I know the limit of my community. So when I came, I was looking around, trying to feel my way. How tolerant are these people? And can I actually transition? Um, I would say that every community has, a, has varying degrees of acceptance and tolerance. Tolerance is good, acceptance is better, of course. Um, so I think I would rate this community that I am in as a medium tolerant zone. Okay. Some are very accepting too. I had some students who became very close friends and um, who started asking questions and I told them. You know. So that's my policy for myself. If they ask and if they are um, um, very close to me, you know, not just plain acquaintance, not just a student, but already a friend that I could confide in, then um, I tell them. I think we should be smart and cautious at the same time. It's very important for our safety. So, 
You just feel your way around the buildings. Um, see if it's possible. And do what is possible. The second question of Finn Porta is, I would also like to know the little things you do, like before your transition, like did you start buying female shoes and dresses so that when you saw the changes you would be able to wear them and so on. Okay, um, I already mentioned a little and in my, perhaps in my other vlogs that I transitioned in baby steps. I love, I love that, that line baby steps. I started out dressing up in colors. Hmm. T-shirts in red, orange, pink. I love rainbow colors. So that's how I began. Um, um, because in a patriarchal society, um, you, you can actually distinguish men from women. Men only wear gray and browns and dark tones, earth tones, and women are like wearing the colors, you know. So when I arrived in this, in this, uh, and in this community, that's how I saw them. There was a plain color coding happening, and then, well, eventually, as the community grew and developed. There was more tolerance and men started to don the colors too. So, but before that happened, I did it, you know, just to test the waters. That's how I tested it. And um, so the colors helped, the color scheme helped. Then I bought pants for women. Uh, that's my second stage. So that's how it is. So progressively and then slowly my hair grew now I'm at the level of of course um, I already found some hormones here so hormones are taken care of now I'm at that stage when where I'm looking for a good seamstress a good tailor to make um, plus size fashion for me Another thing that I think would be a big problem would be shoes. I don't know if Jimmy Choo or um, Manolo's make, you know, big enough shoes for my size of feet. I know there are women also out there like me who have big feet. Unfortunately, that's one major concern for me right now, trying to find the right size of shoes. So while I'm looking, I just have to content myself with um, men's boots and um, rubber shoes. Someday I will be able to wear those Jimmy shoes. Someday. Jimmy Choo's, please, please make a size, I don't know what size this is, make sizes for women who have men's sized feet, please, and um, that's where I am, so, baby steps, baby steps, okay, that's all for now, okay, and um, Finn Porta, thank you again. You asked me so many good questions. I expect to have them answered in a vlog anytime this year. Okay. So for those of you who have questions, um, I think Finn Porta can tell. I think I answered it better in writing. But I will try a video response to your question. So anybody there, my dear um, sisters and brothers, who has some questions, um, feel free to ask and um, hopefully I can or I will be able to answer them truthfully and uh, according to my experience. Okay. Love you all. See you later.